Should we do AMD? Yeah, let's do AMD because uh, they 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 about to get done. Yeah, after launching with a fairly strong showing with Ryzen 7000, AMD looked like they might be doing pretty okay. But Intel was looming with 13th gen Raptor Lake CPUs, and they may have cut the celebration short. Apparently, it's been a little rough. Launched yesterday, the new CPUs posted impressive numbers with the Core 9 13900K. These names are getting really long. Uh, Apparently, it is Manager Plus 5, by the way. So, yeah, six people, even cheaper than I thought. Okay, sorry, carry on. Bring me back in. Um... Da, 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 da. But yeah, apparently they're topping the charts over AMD's more expensive 16-core Ryzen 9 7950X in all but the most heavily multi-threaded workloads, which does make sense. Can we talk about that for a moment? I feel like much there much ado gets made of multi-threaded performance, but for the average consumer, what most people are doing, um, yeah. outside of like maybe four four threads, four to eight threads, is anything you do actually heavy, heavily multi-threaded? Like to be clear, it's pretty rare. we're not going to stop talking about multi-threaded performance in reviews because it has been and continues to be a very forward-looking way of measuring the performance of a CPU because theoretically in the future, workloads will come. But for the average consumer who doesn't spend all day, you know, doing that CPU video encoding for peak quality or, um, you know, rendering out complex scenes in Blender. I mean, show of hands, like Luke, want to throw up a poll in the float plane chat? How many of you actually use Blender? Like other than to dink <laughs> around with it once a quarter, you know, how important is multi-threaded performance? Oh, this is a great comment in uh, Twitch chat. It was bound to happen eventually. Kelton says E cores are Cinebench enhancers. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Let's get this poll going. Do you actually use Blender on a regular basis? 20 percent. We've got 80, 82, 83 percent saying no. Uh, we've got a couple percent saying yes, and then we've also got like 15 percent liars in there. I also, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, like, I really wonder <laughs> how many of the yeses are people just being like, I, AMD is good, okay? <laughs> Come on. I regret my thread ripper every single day. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. How's that upgrade path going for you, Dan? I yearn for death. <laughs> I spent so much money on that computer, so much money, oh, um, no. and it's it's uh, yeah, multi thread is well, this, uh, sad. This is one of the reasons why uh, future proofing is is something that we always kind of scoff at a little bit. Oh, it's because the F word. Yeah, because when when people when people talk about like oh I want to like really multi thread capable CPU because it's the future, um, it it it's not really happening. It's kind of hard to dev software like that um so people just don't do it uh vt arcellus in twitch chat says every last furry is destined to learn blender for vr there's literally dozens of us yes that's that that I is true though. About that. i i guess that makes sense i wanted to build myself a uh i wanted to build myself a, a model for uh beat saber saber streaming and I realized that even a though there one? are kind of pre-done, no, not a furry one necessarily, but oh. even though there are pre-done like uh, starting points and there are guides, you have to really get into the weeds with modeling software to mm -hmm. uh, to like draw it and rig it up. And I'm like, uh, this is far beyond my skills. It would be, I would be far better off just paying someone to do this. Then I looked into how much it costs and I was like, uh ready player now or whatever it's called that uh, that service that just like you pick some generic attributes and assets and it just starts out a model for you uh, that'll do for me it's it's totally free man i so back when i was in high school i've, I've talked about uh my high school computers teacher a few times and i i mentioned a few shows back that he he created this like 3d game programming course for us we we had to do some basic 3d modeling in that class and we used this program called milk shape so it's, it sounds like milkshake but it's milk shape yeah and i just googled and it to see if it was still a thing and i don't think so <laughs> 
But yeah, I used to do some of that stuff a long time ago. It's kind of cool. Anyways. Hey, um, yeah, we should continue that. Also, people are asking if merch messages are not a thing today. I don't actually have the dashboard open. Are, are, are they a thing? Yeah, they are. Um, I've only gotten eight. Oh, maybe it's because hmm. we didn't talk about them. Guys, so if you want to send a message into the show, the way to do it is through merch messages, not Twitch bits, not Super Chats, nothing like that. You want to send a merch message. All you got to do is head over to lttstore.com and in the checkout, you're going to see a field where you can enter your merch message and it'll either be replied to by Dan. It'll show up on the bottom of the screen if you just want to do like a shout out or something like that. Uh, or Luke and I might address your comment or your question live towards the end of the show. Uh, the LTTstore.com deal of the week is the Jerry Rig knife is back in stock. And if you pick up a 1200 by 700 desk pad and add a knife to your cart, the knife is free. Also, oh, this is sick. Luke, bring them up. We have shoelaces now. There they are. They come with this adorable little power supply shaped box that has the shoelaces coming out like cables. And the reason that these are notable is if you have or want to get the RGB hoodie, these are actually the same laces. So you can get that drip going on or however it is that you use that word yeah. um, by having your shoelaces match your hoodie drawstring, which um, I thought was pretty cool. I don't think you guys can see this, it. but there's like there's a <laughs> fan on this side of the power supply. And there's even like the grill, the power switch, and the plug on the back. It's kind of cool. This is pretty I'm sweet. not gonna claim there's anything special about the shoelaces other than that they match the hoodie drawstring. <laughs> They've got some like white stitching pattern on them. Yep. I don't know. Yeah, they feel nice and sturdy. <laughs> Wonder if we can do a close yep. up with a produ producer cam. Let's see. So the 1200 by 700 desk pad, then add a knife and the knife is free. It's a sick deal. That is a 15 US dollar value and you can use it to send in a merch message. Do you have the box uh, over we there also, you can... We also just generally have the knives in stock. So if you don't need a desk pad, you can always just like pick up a Jerry Rig Everything knife. I think there's probably a conversation to be had around, should we just carry more influencer merch? Like, is there any reason not to just have other people's merch on our store? <laughs> I don't think so. Why not? Maybe we should. Yeah. I don't see why not. Yeah. All right. Let's continue the AMD discussion. Especially if there's something that isn't just like a shirt. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Sure, already have a bunch of shirts. Uh, yeah. Continued AMD discussion. So, all of this, all of this AMD crushing power does come at... Oh, a currently trendy cost, which is kind of surprising to me that this is currently trendy, but the power consumption is monstrous. Apparently our testing saw a peak of 350 watts, but other outlets measured power draw up to 400 watts and beyond with the limiters removed and with throttling on 360 millimeter AIO coolers. Woo! Wow. So you'd basically Dang. need chilled water. Dang. Yeah, we're bringing it, we're bringing water. it back. We're bringing the chiller back. We're going back. sub sub ambient boys. Yeah. Sub ambient. And and uh Anthony has a note saying this means it's possible to approach a kilowatt of sustained draw for a personal home computer. <laughs> I added that little bit in between CPU and GPU alone with a 4090 test rig. Wow, wow. <laughs> that's wow. crazy, especially when like so many other things are trending in the other direction and going down in power draw. We have the yeah. uh, the top end of performance on com and on personal computers just cranking power draw as far as I can tell pretty much as hard as they can. You uh, know what? We've actually got a video coming where we run uh, an RTX 4090 and a Ryzen 9 7900X on a 550 watt power supply and we play cyberpunk <laughs> sustained on a 550 watt power supply so and and this is giving up like less than five percent performance wow. one of the cool things about uh the new ryzen 7000 series we haven't tested it with 13th gen yet it's possible others have i just i haven't looked yet but um with ryzen 7000 and with the rtx 4090 is that they actually undervolt extremely well 
and you can achieve I very thought the 40, surprising. 90 was, wasn't undervolting. I thought it was lowering the power target. Is it uh, under well, it's a combination. So you lower your power target until you find a point where it starts to behave kind of weird, and then you you set your uh, you set your turbo target to kind of whatever megahertz you're running at at that point then you adjust your voltage curve anyway we show it in the video okay. it's a it's a process though uh, but basically we managed to get it running stably on a 550 watt power supply without actually giving up a ton of performance to be clear that wasn't with me running two power viruses at once that was with me running an actual game uh, but in in real world usage i think it would probably be stable which isn't to say you should ever do no. that. No, 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 no. I'm just saying that you can lower the power consumptions of these new of these new um, components. It just might take a little bit of work. But the thing is that we've reached the point where the work might be worth it, man. Like it used to be that we would put all this work into tuning for more performance, right, with overclocking. But now with energy prices going the way they are, particularly in Europe, right? It could actually save you hundreds of dollars over the lifespan of this computer yeah. to undervolt it. Yeah. Yeah. Someone said, uh, let me see if I can find it again. Do, 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 do. With someone in, uh, I'm a flanker in, in Floatplane chat says, uh, with current UK pricing for electric, that's 34p an hour for gaming. <laughs> wow. That's going to add up. <laughs> Yeah. It's going to add up a lot, actually. That's, uh... I mean, man, that's a question. That's like, that's like what it cost at the arcade, you know, when we <laughs> were young, right? Like, if you, if you had to put a coin, right, if you had to put a quarter in the machine every hour, would you game as much as you do? Or is it just the fact that you're not really thinking about it because it's coming in on a monthly billing cycle? If I had to put a quarter in every hour, I probably yeah. wouldn't. I, I I think I would genuinely play less games. Right, like that's a, that's a pretty high friction transaction, actually. Yeah. And to be clear, I still I still believe that gaming remains one of the best bang for the buck entertainment mediums. Right, like you can there's especially with free to play games that you really do not have to put money into. You know, games like League of Legends, for example. Um, you, like there, there's, there's nothing that comes even close. You know, you look at it compared to like a movie, going to the movies or going paintballing or, or whatever else it is. Like gaming is, is an unbelievable bang for the buck, assuming you actually do it enough to offset the, the upfront cost. But man, that starts to eat into it a little bit, 25 cents every hour. My goodness. And it's a lot more than that. That's closer to 50 cents. So if you had to put, you had to pop a quarter into your desk every half hour i do not see you doing that sir yeah no that's yeah sometimes sure but not not i i would probably reduce yeah <sighs> um to <laughs> that's yeah. wild i want to figure out exactly how much it is what is so that's sense right p pence is that yeah uh, yeah so zero zero point three three four yeah, yeah, you're right. Fifty two cents. That's a lot. Yep. That's yeah. actually like a ton. Yeah. My solar panels are starting to look like a pretty smart investment. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when solar panels up here were were not. Um obviously they've gotten a lot well, more still... they've gotten a lot more efficient since then. Um they're still stupid here, sir. Uh, uh, because our power is still cheap. I didn't want to rub it in for everybody. Fall, but... Falling water. But you know, the whole falling water might not keep happening thing is coming. Uh, yeah. So we did a um, we did a little work field trip to Banff a number of years ago. Uh, Luke didn't come. <laughs> he didn't technically work for Linus Media Group at that time. Long story. Anyway, the yeah. point is we went to see this glacier and they had all these markings on the ground for where the glacier used to be, where it is now and where it like used to used to be and where it's going to be and so it's just tracking this receding giant glacier and um they were like yeah so in you know 30 to 50 years this thing will be gone and guess what that means for hydroelectric power and i was like uh like i could live to see the end of cheap energy in western canada which is sort of mind-blowing 
And I what are we going to do? I don't Burn think fossil fuels? talked about it. Yeah. 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 And it, cause like everyone that I know just kind of shrugs at, at power that lives here to be clear. Uh, yeah. because we've always been like, it's falling water. It's fine. Um, and I mean, it is for now. For yeah. now. A no. lot of people asking why I'm in two dimensions, uh, budget cuts. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I, I have to afford my new, more expensive YouTube premium somehow. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We are, we got to spread the, spread the burden out, you know? 